everybody. I'm going to go up there and get married to the love of my life. We'll see you in a minute. I'd also like to take a moment to remember those who are no longer with, here with us physically. We would like to take a special moment to remember Denise's father. We know he is sending all of his love and blessings to Denise and Rob on their wedding day. <clears throat> today is a most special day, as today is the day Rob and Denise have chosen to enter the partnership of marriage. And I proclaim this to be the most sacred partnership. Marriage is a working relationship consisting of two people committed to sharing a life together as a couple. Marriage is about honest and open sharing. It is about opening your heart and your soul to each other. It is about sharing your most intimate secrets and dreams, and yet, it is also about honoring each other's differences. Marriage is about growing individually as well as growing as a couple. It is about supporting each other as you achieve your own goals and about always having each other's highest good at the center of it all. It is loving unconditionally with no strings attached. Marriage is choosing daily to love each other. And most importantly, it is about choosing being kind over being right. While the commitment begins with the two of you, its effect radiates outward. It touches your family and friends and ultimately all of society. When this commitment is seriously made and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding of human relationships. 
At this time, I will share a reading Rob and Denise chose for their wedding ceremony. <coughs> Excuse me. It is titled The Art of Marriage. The author is Wilfred A. Peterson. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit it is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal. Dependence is mutual and obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what marriage can be at its best. Rob and Denise, you've already gone a little bit ahead of me there. Please join hands and look at each other and take a moment to remember this very moment in your lives. Rob, from this day onward, do you choose Denise to be your wife, your best friend, and your only love? To live together, play together, and laugh together. To work by her side and dream in her arms, to fill her heart and soul, to always seek out the best in her, always loving her with all your heart until the end of your forever. If so, say I do. I do. Denise, from this day onward, do you choose, Rob, to be your husband, <clears throat> your best friend, your only love, to live together, play together, and laugh together, to work <laughs> by his side and dream in his arms, to fill his heart and soul, to always seek out the best in him, always loving him with all your heart until the end of your forever. If so, say, I do. I do. <laughs> this brings us to the wedding vows. Well, you did it again. Please join hands and hearts as we begin. Rob, we will begin with you. Please repeat after me. Denise? Please hold. I take you as you are. Denise, I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise from this day forward I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our love, to be grateful for our love and our life and our life to be generous with my time, to be generous with my time, my energy, my energy and my affection and my affection to be patient with you, to be patient with you and with myself and with myself to fill our life with adventure, to fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter and our home with laughter and to love you completely and to love you completely. These things I promise you. These things I promise you. Denise, please repeat after me. Rob, I take you as you are. Rob, I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise from this day forward. 
I promise from this day forward to be grateful to be grateful for our love for our love and our life and our life to be generous with my time to be generous with my time my energy my energy and my affection and my affection to be patient with you to be patient with you and with myself and with myself to fill our life with adventure to fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter and our home with laughter and to love you completely and to love you completely these things these things i promise you i promise you may the promises you make to one another today be lived out until the end of your lives this brings us to the ring ceremony your wedding ring is a symbol of your promise to one another the ring an unbroken never-ending circle is a symbol of committed unending love as often as either of you looks at your ring i hope that you will be reminded of the commitment to love each other which you have made today may we have the rings please Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, as you place this ring on Denise's finger, please repeat these words after me. Denise? Denise? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. As of my love for you. Of my love for you. And the commitments. And the commitments. We made today. And the commitments we made today. Denise, as you place the ring you have for Rob on his finger, Please repeat these words after me. Rob. Rob. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my the commitments. And the commitments. We made today. We made today. Lord, grant that Rob and Denise may have a true and understanding love for each other. Grant that they may both be filled with faith and trust. Give them the grace to live with each other in peace and harmony. May the love that brought them together grow and mature with each passing year. Amen. <clears throat> Today, Rob and Denise have chosen to commemorate their marriage through the celebration of a unity ceremony. They are also including their children in the ceremony. Because not only is it an inseparable relationship between the two of them, it is a bringing together of a family as a Before each of you is a container of crystals. Each represents separate lives, your friends and your families. I will ask that you each pour the contents within your own vase into the middle vase. As the glass individual vase is blended together, it symbolizes the joining of your separate lives, friends, and families into one union. We did it. The beginning of your journey together. After the ceremony today, the colorfully mixed pieces of glass will be made into kind glass sculpture, as special as their love for each other. The pieces of their personality that complement each other will be reflected in the glass sculpture that can display in their home forever. Do we move now? Do we move? Okay. <laughs> We have just shared a most special event in the lives of Rob and Denise. Sharing a wedding is always an honor and a blessed event. May the two of you always remember this day. May you always be lovers and as importantly, friends. At this time, I have a gift for you. I am giving you this little crystal heart and in it, you will find three pieces of glass. One is a little red heart, one is yellow, and one is clear. The heart is very simple as it stands for the love 
that brought you to this decision to marry. The red represents the passion and fire of love. The yellow represents the friendship that is an absolute necessity in all love. And the clear represents the clarity that flourishes in the relationshiping. And there is a balance of the red and yellow. The reason I chose glass is because it is a very strong material. It has a great deal of strength, and yet it is fragile. It can break and crack under adverse conditions. As this is true of glass, it is also true of love. So I ask that you keep this heart visible. Rob, to you this heart represents Denise's heart. And Denise, to you this heart represents Rob's heart. This is the conclusion of the wedding ceremony and yet it is the beginning of a new chapter. It is the beginning of your very own book. The book of Denise and Rob and your family. May you use the love you share to imprint each page exactly as you want it. May your years be long and blessed. May you always remain lovers and as importantly friends. And most of all, may you always choose kindness over rightness so that many, many years from now, when you reach the very last page, the one that says the end, you can smile at each other and say, what a beautiful love story. We shower you with love and blessings and all that is good. Ceremonies end, memories linger on and on, and so it is. Denise and Rob, you have declared your love publicly all over the country <laughs> to your family and friends. You have shared your promises and vows. You have exchanged rings. You have completed everything necessary for me to officially pronounce you husband and wife. So it gives me great pleasure at this time to say, Denise and Rob, you are married. <laughs> Please enjoy your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hibbert. <laughs> <laughs> Dance away. Is that right there? I don't know if I Everybody, thanks for coming. Hi, Mom and Dad. Oh, baby. That was Hey everybody, thanks, thanks for joining us. us. Hey, hey we're counting on you being at our reception. So we're 364 days away, June 5th, 2021. You've got to be there, right? Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. We love you all. We wish you could be here. We're thinking about you. We're going to go celebrate. Bye.